Hey guys, it's Brianna from Bloom in the Black, and today I am back with another DIY. Today we're going to be making um, an abstract wire sculpture that's a lot simpler than it sounds. All right, so you're gonna need a ball of air dry clay, a small ball maybe, I don't know, the size of your palm some armature wire. I only have a thick gauge, thin or thick will work depending on what type of shape you want to make. Um, I have a little bit of water here in order to smooth out the clay when we're done. And I did grab, where is it? Some jute twine because I thought we could kind of create some interesting texture for the base. So what this will do is this is going to hold the structure of our wire sculpture and you can be as plain or fancy as you want to be with this. Um, you can keep this just as a ball. You could make a different shape like a swirl or a blob. Um, I'm going to do a simple dome with texture, I think. So let's give this a try. So let's just roll our ball. And I mean, I already kind of had it as a ball. So let's slam it down because we need a nice flat base in order for our sculpture to sit on. Um, and then I'm just gonna try to shape this and make it sort of a dome, like I said. Um, in order to smooth out these cracks and creases, you just dip your finger in water and smooth it out. It's pretty pretty simple, it's, it's a workable clay. And you're gonna have a long time with this because a block of air dry clay this big, I mean, we're gonna see, I think it's gonna take a couple days. However, you could probably still finish up this project when the inside was not fully dry and it would be fine. Um, we're gonna be painting the outside. It's really your choice, but I think I've done enough white stuff lately, so I wanna do something with color, I think. Anyway, so you see how I just smoothed out some of the cracks. Air dry clay does have a tendency to shrink as it dries, but with a solid piece, we should be okay. This isn't the neatest project, so you're gonna have to do some cleanup afterwards. So I guess, what would be a good way to do this? I think I'll just kind of wrap it, right? So now I'm just going to kind of press all of this in to make sure I get the impression of the rope or string, twine, sure, twine, all around this piece. And I'm glad I thought of this before taking the twine off, but I just realized I should have this on a plate so I can put it aside until it's dry. Otherwise, it was just going to be stuck on my desk and I was going to get fingerprints all over it. Okay. Come off the desk. Okay. Boom. So let's cross our fingers that this looks cool. Okay. It is looking should probably do a better reveal of this. Da -da. Okay, this is looking pretty, pretty sweet. I'm pretty pumped with this. I just said the word pretty 85 times. But you know what? We're making some, some pretty stuff. Okay, look at that. I don't know how well you can see it. It's very cute. It'll come out in photos. All right, so we're gonna take this and then before we set it aside to dry, you want to take your wire. This is why we have it next to us right now. Put it in the center and poke a hole. I'm gonna just do it straight through because I don't know how deep I'm gonna want this to go. And it's not gonna hurt anything if it's deeper. If it's shallow, it might. Okay, so. I'm gonna leave this to dry for however long that takes. Next, I have sketched out 
a continuous line drawing. So what this is, is any drawing that uses one continuous line without lifting a pencil or pen or whatever you're using for the entire drawing. Okay, so obviously here I opted to do a flower. I'm sure you've seen pictures of faces and it's a very, very popular design style. So you could go online and um, purchase an image like this or I will also include a link that you can download this one for free. It's mine, I made it. So I'm allowed to give it away for free. Anyway, but I will also link some good resources. If you don't want a flower, um, I'll link some resources where you could purchase one for a very reasonable price. So. Now, you want at hand pliers, needle nose pliers, and wire snips. Here are my wire snips. Wire snips, okay. We don't want to snip any wire yet. This is filthy. Okay, well, that's fine, it's still work. So it, this is, I had a project very similar to this um, where I created wire words. I don't have a video for that. I'm happy to make one if people would like to see that. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see that. Um, but I do have a full blog post, which I will also link below that teaches you how to do wire words. So we're gonna do this in a very similar fashion by taking the wire and just bending it along the shape like so. And it's really easy. Armature wire is meant to be very malleable um, because it is used as a framework for clay sculptures most of the time. So you have to be able to bend it in all sorts of crazy ways. Now I'm not saying it's like <laughs> without effort at all. I really should move this water. Disaster will strike, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple. So you know, just keep going. And then if you, the reason I have the pliers here is if I have to change, sorry, this is taking a little muscle. If I need to change um, direction in a dramatic way, like right here, I'll take the pliers and I will pinch the wire with this instead of my fingers. You could do it with your fingers, but it's going to, it hurt and it's gonna, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> so I would keep the pliers on hand in case you need to make any of those bends. So like I said, you could definitely, definitely use a thinner gauge wire. I only had this, so I'm kind of stuck with what I got here. And I think I am, am I gonna try and make that loop? Why not, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. What is a flower without a stamen, right? The bees would be so unhappy. It is gonna get bulky in the middle though. I think it'll be fine. Okay, nice. And we'll just add some depth and dimension. So yep, continue. I will probably edit out my voice after a while because nobody wants to listen to this. So now we, we, we need to clip this. We're gonna cut the wire. I want it to end in a semi-graceful manner. We'll see. Okay, so let's just clip it and see what happens. All right, I've waited a few days for this to dry. It's still not totally dry, but I feel like it's dry enough to probably paint at this point. If you're patient, definitely wait for it to dry. You can also see some of these edges um, smoothed out a little bit while it was drying because there were curious fingers around that were maybe touching it to see if it was dry. <laughs> Looking at Josie next to me. Um, but, so you can see how that jute made that really cool coil pattern, so I really like that. Uh, next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of this, um, I just mixed up some acrylic paint and I'm just gonna paint the first coat on it. And then I think I'll probably go in and add some more detail on some of the rougher edges just to give some more depth. So this is mostly dry. This is barely dry, but I really wanted to just put this together um, for you real quick. So all I'm gonna do is, see it's sticking to my finger. Take the end and just pop it into the hole that you made. And I'm not gonna press too hard because I don't wanna dent the paint, but I just wanted to demonstrate you're just going to put 
the wire flower or shape or whatever you decided to make, just poke that back into your hole. And if yours is drier than mine, you can position it and push it, really push it down. Now I made my hole very deep. So this is gonna stand on its own. However, if yours is a little shallower, feel free to do like a little dab of super glue at the bottom or I wouldn't say hot glue, it's probably gonna ooze out of the hole, but try some super glue. So that's it and I will show you the finished product. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that DIY and if you wanna see more like this, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell if you wanna get notifications for new episodes and hitting the like button because that'll tell people that this video is worth watching. Anyway, I will see you next week. Have a great day, bye.